from lost Egyptian cities to treasures beyond your belief. These are the 10 most amazing desert discoveries. Don't forget to click subscribe to become part of the DTR family and that little bell icon so that you know when we post new videos. Number 10. Lake in the Desert In 2014, a lake covering a 2.6-acre area appeared out of nowhere 25 kilometers from the Gafsa town in Tunisia. It wasn't a mirage, but an actual 18-meter-deep lake discovered by a local Tunisian shepherd. Officials are still trying to make sense of it, but the Regional Directorate of Civil Protection attempted to offer an explanation. They said that it could be a spring that came up as a result of a fractured layer of rock as a result of seismic activity caused by the region's phosphate mining. It proved true. It also means that the water could be filled with radioactive and carcinogenic materials. That warning has not stopped locals from using the lake, which is a blessing to the region that has suffered from severe droughts for years. Number 9. Lost Egyptian City Most archaeologists can only hope to stumble upon a lost city, and that's what happened at a dig site near the Nile in 2016. The city, believed to be more than 7,000 years old, was discovered in Upper Egypt's southern desert province of Sohag. The ruins revealed buildings, broken pottery, homes, and an array of ancient tools. The artifacts and size of the graves were the indicators used to determine the citizens of the city. Archaeologists also found 15 tombs and their gigantic sizes meant that they were built for the most valued members of the society. The city still remains unnamed and it's believed to have housed tomb builders and officials responsible for building the Abydos royal crypts. The nearby sacred Abydos city was one of Egypt's ancient capitals. The royal tomb's necropolis lies just one mile away from the newly discovered city. The graves are also said to have belonged to Egypt's earliest rulers when the country's history was just beginning. Number 8. Saudi Desert Sculptures Camels have always featured predominantly in Saudi artwork, but an unprecedented 2,000-year-old sculpture discovered in a private property has revolutionized this motif. Researchers from the Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique CNRS, conducted a study in collaboration with the Saudi Commission for Tourism and National Heritage SCTH, who performed a site exploration in 2016 and 2017. They discovered three rocky outcrops in making up what is now dubbed the Camel Site, exhibiting realistic representations of 11 Arabian camels known as dromedaries and two mules or possibly donkeys. The Vice President for Antiquities and Museums at SCTH, Dr. Hussein Abu al Hassan, explained that it proved that the region attracted highly skilled sculptors in the past. Researchers also revealed that most of the rock carvings discovered in the Jaff region were centered around ancient trade routes and lakes. Mystery still shrouds the site, but it's quite clear that the carvers who created the sculpture were very talented, and it must have taken several people and quite a number of days to complete the representations. A big thank you to all you guys out there who leave us comments. For today's video, we are giving a shout out to Richard Silva for commenting on our video about the biggest catches ever reeled in by fishermen. Number 7. Lost City of Libraries The Sahara Desert was hiding a secret all these years and it just happened to be the ancient libraries of the Chinggeti. Located at the very end of a desert road in Mauritania is an abandoned town which has been significantly swallowed by the Saharan sands. The town called Chinguetti once served as a medieval metropolis boasting of a population of 20,000 people, including scholars of law, mathematics, astronomy, science, and medicine. The town also served as a holy city and welcomed pilgrims to congregate when journeying to Mecca. It soon became known as the seventh holy city of Islam and also the city of libraries. Most of the libraries are gone today, but a handful of them still contain about 6,000 priceless books that have stood the test of time since the 9th century. Experts believe that the city can't withstand the climate changes we are experiencing, and it could be completely lost in the next 30 years or less. UNESCO marked the city and other surrounding ancient settlements as World Heritage Sites in 2000. Number 6. Desert Winery one of the most oldest wineries was discovered in Israel just last year, 2017, in the Ramat Negev region. 
dating suggests that the winery existed during the Byzantine era, which was about 1,600 years ago. The stone-made building is also surprisingly large in size, covering a 131 by 131 meters area. Archaeologists found a wine press inside, and its large juice runoff gave indications that the factory managed an impressive wine output. What makes the find much more valuable is the fact that only one other enclosed wine press exists in the Negev region. Israel is also well known for its desert agriculture, and the winery proves that the people had mastered the craft of making wine hundreds of years before Israel became the land that we know. The winery most likely ceased production around the 6th century when widespread plague affected the demand for wine. Number 5. Dinosaur Footprint It's been about 66 million years since dinosaurs roamed the Earth, but new discoveries keep cropping up, shining more light into the ancient, gigantic creatures. Okayama University scientists discovered an enormous dinosaur footprint in Mongolia's Gobi Desert, believed to have belonged to a titanosaur in 2016. It measured over 3 feet long, and it's estimated to date back to 70 million years ago. Such discoveries are always exciting to scientists because they provide an opportunity to learn more about massive creatures. The footprint was also astonishingly well-preserved, and its three claw marks were visibly clear. The titanosaur were herbivores with long necks, and they were an estimated 65 feet tall and measured about 98 feet head to tail. They lived during the Cretaceous period and weighed about 70 tons. Number 4. Ancient Jellyfish Graveyard 540 million years ago, walking by the seaside would create imprints of your footprints and leave them perfectly preserved for future generations to find. That's exactly what happened to the jellyfish that died by the now arid Death Valley. The sand contained microbial communities that created a gooey-like glue that perfectly preserved impressions. Some of the impressions found are believed to belong to the oldest known jellyfish stranding from the Cambrian period. Scientists found the ancient jellyfish well preserved within a southeastern Californian slab of sandstone. They managed to identify 13 of the oval specimens, and the fossils were identifiable based on their lighter weight than the surrounding rock. The jellyfish fossils also varied in size, ranging from 1.2 to 8.3 inches, as well as their preservation style. Some of the jellyfish specimens still had some of their body parts faintly visible. They are also helping scientists investigate the Ediacarian biota, which was a group of bizarre marine organisms that appeared and abruptly disappeared 575 million years ago. Number 3. Killer Whale Geoglyph Last year in 2017, in November, archaeologists discovered an enormous geoglyph depicting a killer whale etched in the hillside of a Peruvian desert. The 230-foot-long geoglyph found in the Palpa region in southern Peru is estimated to date back to 2,000 years ago. It's the figure of an orca, which was considered semi-mythical, powerful creatures in ancient Peruvian lore. Researchers also believe that it could be one of the Palpa region's oldest geoglyphs, and it's even older than the nearby Nazca lines. The orca geoglyph had actually been documented in the 1960s through photographs taken by German archaeologists. The photographs were printed in the 70s, but the location of the Orca geoglyph hadn't been well described. Archaeologist Johnny Isla remembered seeing the photograph when researching geoglyphs. Isla returned to Peru and searched for it, making the rediscovery in January 2015, which was 50 years after its first discovery. Number 2. Purple Eggs in 2013, Tucson residents Geraldine Vargas and her husband were taking a walk in the desert when they happened upon a puzzling pool of what seemed like thousands of purple eggs. The pools of purple eggs were completely isolated and seemed to glisten against the sun. They were also watery, translucent, and spherical in shape. Vargas explained that they emailed a zoologist friend the photos of the eggs they took and she didn't know what they were. Tucson Botanical Gardens Director of Marketing Darlene Burrow explained that if the eggs were naturally occurring, they could belong to a jelly fungus or slime mold. There have been suggestions that they could be deco beads that are often used to keep plants hydrated. However, that still doesn't explain how thousands of them ended up in the desert. Number 1. Namibian Shipwreck Gold 
In 2016, miners working for the diamond company De Beers stumbled upon a 500-year-old shipwreck confirmed to be the Born Jesus in the Namibian desert. Much like you'd expect from a great shipwreck, it was filled with treasure, and in this case, it was real gold worth an estimated $11.6 million. The Born Jesus disappeared in 1533 after setting sail from Lisbon on its way to India. The diggers uncovered the ship in a drained lagoon's pit and immediately called in geological experts. The excavation revealed navigational tools and bones, as well as pottery and the big find which was the Spanish gold coins. Manchester University's professor Timothy Insull explained that the religious artifacts and clothing could prove more valuable because they give a better insight into the past. The exciting aspect about the shipwreck, other than the gold, is the fact that most of the items survived 500 years at the bottom of the sea, while in reality they should have disintegrated. The Portuguese government waived the right to the gold, allowing Namibia to keep it. Thanks for watching! Coming up next, biggest catches fishermen have ever reeled in! Roman Federtsov, a Russian fisherman, shared scores of photos depicting the most bizarre sea creature. He has a huge following on social media where he posts pictures of his deep sea catches. The particular photos that he posted on his Twitter account document a fishing trawler pulling in nets. They then reveal the monstrous creature that